Hello everyone, Kurt Monk Online, and today's tutorial about the polygon shapes and how to use them. In short, we will try to make a knife's blade. So let's get started. For this, I will pick the orthographic view and uh, I'll pick the side view. So now I will create a polygon cube, as you see here. And cube is uh, shaded. I will make him oh my not selected okay so oh okay working uh, only wireframe it and I will try to scale it a little bit oh my god why is it not working great. And something like that. It will be great. Okay, and as you see here, we have a history about our object. Uh, this is too big. Like that. So we here have an object uh, history. So we can uh, make some adjustments for that object. For this cube, I will add some divisions because as you see in this blade we have one two three four five well, four divisions in the vertical position and four in the horizontal so i will add them something like this okay so we increased the subdivision level for this cube now, if we want to, yeah. Okay. So, if we wanna to match the shape of the blade, okay, I will go again in the uh, wireframe mode. I will click on the cube and go. Uh, when I clicking on the cube, I clicking with the right mouse button. It will be for options and press vertex as you see all vertices appear but in this example i will not click uh, will won't click on the vertices separate separately because if i want to drag them in the normal position or like the second i will go to the perspective view to show this when I clicking on the only one vertex, only one vertex was uh, marked. But we have in the same position on the from other side of the image, as you see another uh, vertex. And if we want to select them both, we just need to drag it around them, and that's it. Both of them will be selected. Okay, I will. Drag it over these four or five uh, vertex and try to uh, try to adjust the this vertex with these lines, which is an image reference. So I will bring the this horizontal line a little bit more above the other lines get some different shape and as you see I'm just clicking and dragging and positioning around the image reference Everything is really simple, but it's taking some time.
Okay, so I will go to the selection mode or I can press the right mouse click and then go to the object mode. It's the same. And now as you see, we have a great <laughs> shape of knife. No, I'm kidding. Just um, Now we, when, uh, when the object is selected, we'll press R key to scale it down and scale it from the size to be more thin thinner. Okay, something like that. It will be great. Yeah, it will be great. Okay, so the top one, this line, it's looking good, but the bottom is really not sharp. So to add more sharpness, we need to merge two vertices. We're going to the vertex mode. As you see, we have one here and one here. We can just try to shrink them down, but I believe in this situation it will be okay. Besides, uh, I'm not trying to quadrant. I don't try to keep the shape in only squares. I'm not afraid of triangles too because I'm always working on a UDK or Unity. So when I need to import and where I need to triangulate in any way. So if you want to keep it uh, without triangles and you need four-sided uh, polygons, you can just shrink them a little bit more. If you not scared about the uh, triangles and you will use any game engines or something like that so you can triangulate uh, in in that case i will select these both vertices going to a polygon menu edit mesh and we'll go to a mesh to center and as you see these two polys become uh one Great, so I will repeat this command with uh, J button. I will select the, uh, these two vertices and press a G key again and again and so on. Besides, if you want to try, uh, for example, I can select more of them, but if I will do with all of them in one time, we have, we will have a really strange effect because all these vertices will be merged in one point as you see in here and I believe you don't want this effect so just try to take only for two of them and merge it so, mm -hmm. and for that one I will just shrink him down a little bit okay so now I believe we have a not perfect but blade shape okay so if we want to hide for example this image or any object we can just go and press oh my god Press Ctrl and H button. And why it's not working? Okay. If you want to reveal this uh, image, just press Ctrl and Shift and H button. My keyboard not working. It's showing nonsense. Okay. <coughs> so. Um, Okay, I want to hide these images and check the blade. And I suppose this will be a 
it a bit on the handle. So if we have here handle, we need to take about these two faces from the side, these two faces, and extrude a little bit more. Okay, so now I will hide the I'll have that both. I will select with uh, right click and go to the faces mode. Besides, you see dots in here. I've uh, changed it because I like a little bit more. And if you want to change uh, to this uh, dots on the face, because the dots it's really useful because if you want to select from a side for example or in some kind of very specific location uh, you can't just look straight to that face it's really great option so if you want to create these dots uh, just go to windows uh, settings and preferences preferences Go to the selection menu and select this button because by default it's a whole face. So select the faces with the center. Save it. And that's it. You will have these dots when you're trying to edit the faces. Okay, so now I will try to select with both faces and extrude it. Uh, extrude command is uh, with a um, shift right click going down and see this extrude face and now we can extrude the face yeah, something like that besides this button it's a uh, for uh, as you see with a uh, local vertices a uh, local position if you will try to drag it in the local position and in some cases uh, it will be not uh, not great because uh, it's using uh, your shape's local position and after this you will drag it in that position. Sometimes you need to use in the world position as I was used uh, right now. So just hint, this button is uh, for a positioning in world or local uh, axis. So. I believe with the blade we will finish in the next tutorial, or maybe we can. Or maybe it's for a beginning. Will be great because we can tune it in uh, other lessons like texturing and trying to add more details to that blade. So I believe for a blade it will be okay for a beginning. Thank you for watching and uh, next uh, video, next tutorial will be how to create a handle for that knife. So stay tuned and subscribe. Bye.